guys and welcome back to my channel and this very summery tutorial I am doing a two-toned look I've never done that before and I'm so excited I'm looking in the viewfinder and like this orange pink coral thing I'm feeling really sassy and I'm really liking it so I've used a bunch of new stuff from Colourpop I know I told you I was gonna do a try on haul and this is kind of a try on haul because I have included a lot of the new things that I got from Colourpop but since one of the orders were so late due to Swedish Postal Service being absolute crap absolute crap like retire all of you because I have no idea what you're doing so I actually tried out some of the things during my vacation and some of the things that I have on my face I haven't tried before so it's like a mix of a first impression and mini reviews I hope you're gonna like it. Let me know what you think. Let's just get into the look. My hair is still wet from taking a shower, so we'll just ignore that and we can get into the eyeshadows. So I have, I have been eh, digging into this a bit. This is my Colourpop order. I have tried some of the things and some of the things I haven't tried at all. I also put all of the new shadows from Colourpop in this Colourpop palette. These are the singles that I bought. I have tried almost all of these, except the green one, I think. Oh, and the purple. I haven't tried the purple either. But these are so nice. This blue that is called Bass Line, amazing. And this one, the fiery orange called Chaffour. Chaffour? Chaffour. Chaffour. Chaffour? That sounds more right. Those two are immaculate. Like, I love them. If you are picking up just any shadows, I really, really recommend those two. And also this one, the light green one. This is called La Playa and it is like a dupe for Zoe by Nabla. It is beautiful. So those three shadows I've been having so much fun with. And I am going to do something um, with these two ugh, super shock shadows. This is a Bubble Bee and the, this is part of the spring collection because it had this cute packaging that I am ripping apart now. I haven't even swatched this. This is the orangey one. So I'm gonna do something with this one. It is like the other one, the fiery orange, but I'm guessing that this is gonna be even more intense because these super shock shadows normally are. And then this one that is called Don't Leave. It is like a, like a fuchsia magenta. Huh. I'm looking at the viewfinder. This could be cool. What if I did one eye of each. Is that even possible? Sure it is. Sure it is. Sure it is. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I mean, how hard can it be? Famous last words. <laughs> so I'm gonna do orange on one eye and then pink on another. And I think that I'm gonna dig into like my bigger palette as well. Like this one is my bigger palette that has the neutrals and the pinks from Colourpop. I have a lot of shadows from Colourpop. If that for some reason wasn't Painfully obvious. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this one on the pink eye that is called Sandbar and maybe deepen it up a bit with like something like this, Seize the Day. Maybe these two and then the orangey one is really really orange and maybe I'll deepen that up with this one that is called Oh Ship. I think that is gonna be nice. So maybe I'll start the orange with this one that is best co scenario. I love this one. So I'm gonna start with that one on the orange eye and then go into the orange from, ugh, from the festival collection that is called Bratty. So I'm gonna do that and then deepen that up with Oh Ship. A lot of shades. It's gonna be a lot of shades today, but you know what? It's gonna be so much fun. My mirror has to be here on the side, but I think that we'll manage. This is more peach, but I think that that's going to be nice with the orangey one. I'm just gently just wiping this in the crease as a transition for the brighter orangey one. For the pink, I'm just going to use, this is Flower Boy, it's just a, so weird, it's just a deeper, like more muted, lighter pink that I can use on the pink side just to build the pink colors on. They don't look that different on the eyes. Do you see now like what I mean when sometimes I say like, yeah, they're not exact dupe for each other, but they look so like alike on the eyes that it doesn't really matter. This is the perfect example. The one is an orange and one is a pink, but on the eye, they're not that different. 
that's why I don't think you should like like look blindly at what are exact dupes when you swatch them or look at them because sometimes things can be dupes on the skin anyways. On the orange side I'm going in with bratty which is that orangey one and I'm just making this more intense. And on the other side I'm taking the pink sandbar to make that side more pink. Now you can see the difference. Because I like intensified the different undertones. So one eye is pink and one eye is orange. I am going to use the one that I said sees the day, which is the darker pink one. I'm just going to deepen up the outer V on the eye that I just worked on. And now a bit of O ship on the other side. I'm also going to smudge some of the corresponding colors under the eyes before I go in with the Super Shock Shadows. Okay, now it's time for the Super Shock Shadows. I am going to use this pinky one that's called Don't Leave on the side that has the pink. And I'm just going to do my fingers because do with my fingers because I've taken my nails off and these are just perfect to apply with your fingers to be honest. Ooh, that is a very intense, almost like fuchsia magenta color. Very pretty. And now it's time for a bubble bee. I always say something wrong with that one on the other eye. Let's see how that one looks. Ooh, that is pretty. This one is lighter, I think. This one is slightly lighter, so I'm just gonna put a bit more of the bright orange on the sides to make sure that it doesn't look too much light in, um, in comparison to the pink one. But I really like how this is looking. I am gonna put on some mascara and some white, I think, on my waterline. I'm gonna find something for my inner corners. Don't really know about that yet, but and then lips. Oh, and cheeks. I have some new cheek things as well and I need to clean this up before I get this everywhere. I mean it. It's happened. Okay, so this is where we're at right now and I'm gonna dig into <laughs> this box oh, to find this one. This one, I, I, I don't get the sleeves. I think I'm actually gonna cut this out and just glue it on. I got it in TikTok and it has a beautiful sleeve which I am gonna save until I can fix it and then it looks like this. So this is a blush and a highlight or for me it's probably gonna be a blush and a glowy blush topper, I'm guessing. So let's just try and see how this one looks on. I'm taking the peachy blush, oh wow, that, that is, I got so much on the brush I have to be careful, although I am a bit tan now so maybe I can go a bit ham with this one because it's so light yeah this is so light is this even showing up on me not really it has a bit of a glow this blush as well and it's way too light for the skin tone I am in right now which would be a light to medium I would guess at this point because I have been tanning for a week in Greece and then normally I do get a bit of a tan but it has a beautiful glow that I really like <sighs> let's try the highlight and see how that one looks that one seems to be a bit more firm or creamy that's beautiful it's like an icy peach That is beautiful. I kind of do like that actually. It gave some kind of freshness, freshness to the skin. I also bought this highlighter. This is Felicity. It is one of the glittery highlighters and this one came a bit smushed so I have smushed it back together. This one has almost the same texture as the Kat Von D highlighters and I really like this. I'm picking it up with my the FO3 High Cheekbone Highlighter by Sigma. This one picks up the Colourpop Creamy Highlighters as well. And look at this. 
Do you see that? I mean, it is glittery, but it is glitter and shimmer packed together, so it turns your cheekbones wet. This is stunning. If you are into that wet cheekbone, this is definitely it. This is definitely it. This is the kind of highlighter that won't look good on your nose or your cupid bow because it's just going to look glittery. But on your cheekbones, it's going to make them look wet. I'm also going to use a bit of this on like the pink side in my inner corners. How am I going to do this? I'm trying with a pencil brush. Ooh, that is pretty. That's really pretty. So I'm going to take something yellow on the other side. I'm thinking I'm going to take... I'm thinking I'm going to take... One this light gold duochrome that is called Rager. I'm going to take that on the yellow side. This one is like a dupe for Makeup Geek's Voltage, but I do think that Voltage is better than this one, I'll be honest. This one isn't quite as duochrome and sheeny as that one, but they have the same tone. So that's pretty cool. They are definitely two different eyes. I have so many lip options before we get into lashes, because I am going to put on some lashes. I actually have... I have two of the uh, Luxe lipsticks. This is Tiptoe. This one came a bit smushed, which definitely does not seem like a luxury lipstick. On me, this one created that white rim uh, close to my mouth. I, I've worn it only once and it did that and I didn't really like it. Has any of you experienced that with the Luxe lipsticks? Uh, I've only worn it once, so that is not like my final verdict, but yeah, that's what I noticed when I was wearing it. I also got it in Foolish, which is a beautiful color, but not really what I want to have on today. But those are the two colors that I got. I also got a lot of satin lipsticks. Let me just unpack all of them and you can see what the options are. Okay, let me see. These are the options that I have when it comes to satin lipsticks. I got two of the ones that... Uh, man overboard! Let me get that. The ones they did with Kathleen Lights. So I got... Mm, dreamy and Reve. Uh, Reve means uh, dreaming or the dream in French. Rêve, 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 rêve. How's my French? Rêve, rêve. How's my French? It's okay, right? It, it's it's not the worst you've heard. If it is the worst you heard, please don't tell me. The two colors that Kat, uh, Kathleen Lights did. Uh, I don't know if she did another one as well, but I got this one that's more of a nudie one. To be honest, that would be pretty amazing. I also got the one that's more of a magenta orange. I wore this uh, on my vacation, if you saw me on my Snapchat. Uh, and then I got Kismet, which is a very vibrant, like, red with an orange undertone. Uh, Felix, that is absolutely beautiful, like an burnt orange that is still very bright. Uh, this is Come Up. I don't know if this is new, but it's like a salmony, salmony beautiful one. And this is Gifted, which is a dark, like, berry. And then it's Mucho, which is a bright raspberry. And then it's Canoodle, which is a muted mid-tone pink. All of these are satins. And I'm thinking, actually, that I might wear this one. Come up. I think I'm gonna put up come up. Oh, I also got this one. <laughs> this one is Little t Things. Little things, not things, but things. And this is a beautiful mid-tone pink. This one would be beautiful if I didn't have the orange, but I'm feeling like this one that's like a salmony, almost like a muted coral, would be perfect with both the orange and the pink. So I'm gonna put that one on, and I'm also gonna put on some lashes. I'm gonna put on the Sasha by Coca Lashes. Misha. Misha, not Sasha. And I'll be right back, and I'll show you the finished look. Hopefully I'll just... Do something with the hair as well. Okay, so there we go. This is the finished look. I've never had like a two-toned eye on before and I really, really like it. And I love this lip color as well. Like, come on. This is nice. I really like 
this. And I like the new shades from Colourpop. I wish that they would also include some of these colourful shades as um, a palette because I feel like we need more palettes from Colourpop that are actually colour and, and, and a bit poppy. <laughs> I also really love this formula of highlighter. These are called Super Shock Chic Glitter. That's what they're called. I think that there is one more shade, but this one, this one was Felicity. And I think that I am going to order the other shade as well next time I order from Colourpop. And I think that was everything. I will leave all the details of what I used down below. Don't forget to check there. And I will see you in my next video, which will be really soon. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye!